Fox Mock. Uh, sound good? See. Yeah, you sound good. All right. All right, cool. You sounded good, Dave? Yeah. Hey, Dave, I'm... I was checking out this table. I wonder if, if Scott, Scott, one of the head honchos around here, yes. went to Baylor. He'd love this table. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that <laughs> screams Baylor. It is kind of Baylor. It does, yeah. it does scream Baylor. Very. I, yeah. I can, I, can, I can hardly bear to sit here. Oh, <laughs> goodness. Okay, so Baylor. let's get to the real entertainer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're going to have you on later, but yeah. uh, well, this is Mike, everybody. You're going to learn more about him in a minute, but we're just now kidding. This is his table. He tells me it was actually on Johnny Carson back yeah, then. Yeah, yeah. I inherited it from another magician who inherited it from... From Don Allen. This is cool. Don wow. Allen's from Don Allen. Oh. Yeah. It remains yeah. to be seen who the you Magic passed Ranch. Out. You remember yeah. that? The Very Magic cool. Ranch. The, uh, this is, the covering is not the original. I got this from the Fort Worth uh, Billiard Supply over right. off of Magnolia. I know oh, exactly where that is. Yeah. I bought a few table coverings yeah. there myself. Yeah, absolutely. I love that place. But enough about me. You got a deck of cards. Yeah. I, I caught you off guard here, but we got a little bit of time to oh, kill. We talked about how you'd handle cards before. And, yeah. And, uh, um, before. They handle me mostly, <laughs> but anyway. And there's a there's an old. Uh, story that went ab about a, a gentleman who would uh, do tricks and, and uh, but it was always with fast company and the people that he would do the tricks for were kind of always trying to trick him and so uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll show you what I'm talking about if, okay. if I uh, if, I'm not gonna uh, I'll let you pick out a card just pull anyone out that you like I'll take this one out over here okay that's the one I thought you'd take oh uh, <laughs> well, one from the middle Ta -da. <laughs> here, let me just return it back in Right here? Yeah, we'll put some cards back on top, no big deal. So okay. uh, what he would do is he would shuffle the, the, the cards in front of everybody and uh, and then try to, to get that, try to shuffle it back up to the top. You know, let's see if I can do that after a couple of shuffles. And then he said, you know what, why don't you take a shuffle? Well, when the other guy, took, when, the, when the, the bad guy, the, the fast company took the shuffle, he turned over half the deck ah. while the magician wasn't looking and he shuffled them right up into the middle. Okay. See? And so, so now you've got some that are going one way. You've got some that go this way. You've got some that go that way. Yeah, they're all. Yeah, you've got them all different, all jacked different, up, all different ways. And so what he would do um, is he would just give it a little bit of a of a turn. Here we'll, we'll give this a turn just like this. A little bit of a flip. Pass a magic gesture over the deck, and show that it didn't matter that the other that the other guy had uh, turned half of them up upside down. Because you'll see that they're all oh. facing the right way. Almost you know, all facing, of them. All, all except for one. Yeah. If you look, that should be. What was your card? Honestly, I don't recall. Yeah. Was that it? <laughs> it was. Uh, for TV's sake, we'll call it that. Card. No, that, it was. That, <laughs> okay. We it the key and close. Very good. All right. Well, we're excited about having you here in studio today. Oh, We've got a lot you. of the other guests too, and they're going to be wonderful as well. But a real live magician. Yeah, I can't right wait. Here with us, so you're going to do all sorts of illusions and/or tricks. Absolutely. And stuff. Are you going to make Brian disappear? God, wouldn't that be great? <laughs> yeah. Maybe or maybe maybe split me in half so more people could enjoy. There you go. <laughs> double your that? pleasure, double your fun. <laughs> I'm short enough. Please don't cut me in half. <laughs> all right. Well, that's uh, we're winding down our five minute pre show here. Let everybody stretch. Uh, get ready to go for the real deal here in just a second we're gonna we're gonna give it our all right here on all in just for you we'll be back with mike and others thank you Everybody, welcome back to All In. We're excited to introduce a new segment. Uh, soon to be a weekly segment, but for now, we're just going to be a periodic segment, as I'd like to say. We're going to call it today. It'll be Magic Monday, but because that's when we're filming it. But uh, we're we're with a, a real mu musician. <laughs> Threw me off already because we're in the music. We're in the music <laughs> studio. So uh, today is the Magic Studio. Mike Squires, welcome aboard. Nice to meet you. You, you, you are our, our magician. So Thank you. We had a, a really cool magician and his wife here just a couple of weeks ago. Good so, friends of mine. Yeah, well, they, they were great, and you got to, they set the magic bar a little high, but we're, we're right. glad to have you here in the studio, <laughs> particularly for a lot of reasons, but you're a native Arlington guy. That's right. right. Yeah, I grew up here in, in Arlington, uh, went to UTA, went to Martin. Went yeah. To, I was in that part of Arlington that was expanding so quickly. I went to three different elementary schools in the same house. <laughs> they just kept yeah. in the same house. They just kept building new schools around. That's you. right. That's right. Isn't that exciting? So, well, and so you're an engineer by trade. That's right. I went to UTA, uh, got a computer science engineering degree. Nice. And uh, have worked um, mainly in Dallas. I work in Dallas right now for a company mm -hmm. called Equinix, and uh, uh, 
we do it's all internet based network engineering type stuff. So. Right, so you can do it from anywhere. Yeah, absolutely. That's the best part about it. I can I can go out but, my car. But I'm guessing you didn't just wake up this morning and decide I want to be a magician. No, no, I've been doing <laughs> it. Uh, my my aunt and uncle gave me a, a magic set when I was four. Nice. I've been playing with it ever since then. And if you looked at the toys that I had as a kid, about two thirds of them had something to do with magic. magic they were thing. little magic tricks or so whatever. So you're predestined to do this. Yeah, I've always loved it, and I kind of picked it up again in college, and and I did it at church. Uh, that's where I kind of got my uh, uh, performing chops. Right. Was uh, uh, performing for spaghetti suppers and that kind sure. of thing, and and then um, uh, joined the magic club, the Dallas Magic Club. Uh, the plug for that. Uh, no, Dallas no Magic problem. Club in uh, in Dallas, and. Um, uh, and really kind of, it, it took off about 20 years ago. I started doing uh, part-time professional magic. So, mm. uh, you know, doing it for birthday parties or... or uh, Corporate events. Exactly. Hospitality sure. suites, all that. All, well, I'll all tell you what. Let's, uh, we have plenty of time to talk to you. But we, okay. We <laughs> talk, we talk magic, all huh? the time. We don't get to see real magic very often. <laughs> okay. So I want to give Mike the table here. Sure. Well, Show us know, something. One of the things that, that I like to think about when, when I think about magic is um, I, I don't want it to, to be about... Um, I want it to be about expanding your idea of what's possible. And uh, so let's, let's play with a deck of cards and, and, and see what that's about. Mm -hmm. um, first, I want, to, I want to know. Now, you said you've handled cards before. Yeah, um, sure. And, Been playing and, uh, cards you, yeah, you, a long time. Playing <laughs> cards, not doing magic with them. But yeah. Okay. Well, what I want you to do is I want you to, um, if, you, if you could, I want you to see if you can cut this exactly in half. And if you can, go ahead and put. As close as I can. Yes, as close as you wow. can get. The closest I got to magic with cards is it seems every time I touch them, I make my money disappear. <laughs> now, I think you, you did pretty good. Okay. I think you did pretty good. In fact, I know exactly how many cards you cut off. Do you want to know? Yeah. You cut off exactly as many as I wanted you to. Ta-da! <laughs> That's right. <laughs> now, let's see how many you got. You've got um, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Almost exactly close. half. 26 would be half, yeah. and, and that's, pretty, that's pretty good. That's really close. Now, uh, we've got 24, so that's an even number. That's good because what we're going to do is play a little bit of a game. Okay. Now, anytime you play a game, I need the same number of cards as you do. Otherwise, there's, some, there's an advantage. But we have 24, so if we divide them in half, it'll be, it'll be even. So let's look at this. We'll put these in half. And Brian, I'm going to ask you to choose which pile you want. And when you point to a pile, mm -hmm. that's the one we're going to use. Okay. All right. Well, I think to make it easy, I'll go with this pile closest okay. to me. Okay, so this is going to be your pile. We'll just hold it here for just a second. Okay. Now, I want you to see one of the ways that you can mix up cards. If we take these cards and I deal them down, at any point, I can decide I'm going to stop. Now, I, I chose four cards, but I'm going to stop and turn the other ones on top. Now, I can do this again. I can deal down. And then I take these and I turn them over on top. Right. See how I did that? Yeah. All right. Now, if you would take your cards. And My cards we'll here? Same, yeah, we'll do the same thing. We'll put these up here where you can see them. Okay. Take your cards, and if you would deal down a couple of cards, or however many you like, actually. Uh, face deal, down? Yeah. I'll do, uh, I'll do what you did. Four. Okay. Now, flip those over on top. All of them. Yeah, as a, as a pack. Six of there you go. Okay. okay, now go ahead and do the same thing. Oh, you, yeah, yeah. You yeah. can. Uh, One, two, three, four, and then flip the whole thing. That's right, that's right. Now, Ryan, you can, you can choose to do it again. You can do it two more times. It doesn't matter. What, whatever you'd like to do. Let's do it one more time. Do the please. same thing one more time? Yeah, one more time. Okay. One, two, three, four, and then flip it over. Yep, that's it. Okay. All right. Now let's take these and we'll put these right here. Now we've got. The cards that I used and the cards that you used. Mm -hmm. And this is going to be a little better for the camera, but we'll turn it where you can see it yeah, too. Yeah, I'll scoot around right. here as well. All right. So, let's see how we did. This is what I was talking about when we try to expand the idea of what's possible. Now, when we look at these first two cards and I turn them over, you're going to see that you've got the two black sixes. Yeah. They match like that. Yeah. In fact, if you look, you've got the next two cards. The two red nines. <laughs> and we'll go down with, from this shuffle pack, and you've got the two red sixes. In fact, here you've got the two Look black at that. fours. And now, oh, they're both turned around. You've yeah. got the two red eights. Yeah. You've got the two black fives. Here we go. The two red queens. We'll keep going down. The two red fours. Oh, now these are turned the opposite way. I hope this works out. 
We've got the three. Clay, the three of spades. That's good. We've got the two. And then we've got two more that are turned the opposite way. And you've got these two. There you go. And the last one right here. We've got the ten of diamonds on this side. In the ten of hearts. Very the nice. The red team. I'm better than I Absolutely. thought. Absolutely. <laughs> now let's take one of these. It doesn't matter which one we take because we just re realize that they're identical. Yeah. But I'm gonna I'm gonna give you another option to mix these up, and here's how we'll mix them. I'll deal down a card, and you have the option to say switch. And okay. if you say switch, we'll switch the cards. Okay. So what? Do you want to switch or stay? Not yet. Not yet. Okay. One more. Now I want to switch. You want to switch? Okay. Yeah. So we'll put this on top. Yeah. Oh, you now switched you see the one, yeah, yeah exactly. Yet. Okay. Now we'll do another one, and you can say switch anytime you like. Uh, yeah. Okay. Now. Right now. Okay. Yeah. So we'll put this on underneath like that. Yeah. And then we've got another one. Mm-hmm. Okay. okay. Well, we ran out of opportunity oh, okay. to switch, but that's Can't okay. Switch ran out. Yeah. Um, but if you look, you've got two that, that were switched, and that would change up uh, the order of these cards. Yeah. At least twice. You flipped them. Let's put them together like this. Now, does anybody have a cell phone uh, that we can? Anybody use? cell phone studio audience? Here's one. <laughs> All right, Sarah's got one. Good deal. Thank you, sir. All right. So let's let's try this little experiment. I'm going to deal out cards, and I want you to uh, open up the phone on here. Okay. These things actually make phone calls, too. They, they do uh -oh. a number of other things, but they, they still can work as a phone. So okay. if you go, go to the phone app. The phone right, there. Uh, right here. There yeah. Go. And then I'm going, to, I'm going to deal out cards, and when I deal one out, I want you to type in the number on the phone. Okay. Okay. So here's the first one that you, that you came up what with. We got? Nine. Nine. Okay. Okay. And then seven. Yeah. And then, ooh, three. Nine, seven, three. Okay. We've got four. Four. Queen. Oh, there's not a queen on there, but there's a Q. There's a Q. Yeah, where's How's that? That'll work. There's a seven. T Let's try that. Seven, yeah. Q. Seven, okay. Yeah. And then we've got uh, the five. Back to five. The eight. Eight. The four. Back to four. The six. Six. Let's see, we're at nine. We're at nine numbers, so let's do one more. Yep. Nine. Nine. Okay. All right, so now we've got what looks like a phone number. Now we're in the DFW area, and this looks close, but not quite yeah. to a phone number. Pretty close. Um, but let's see what happens when you, when you hit uh, uh, call the Call it? Yeah, let's, let's call that number and see what they have to say. Okay. In fact, it, let's put it on speaker real quick. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I did we'll not see do that. how this goes. Should I turn it up? Yeah, can we hear? Oh, wait. Oh, well, it sounds like. Somebody else's phone ringing. Yeah, my phone's ringing there. There we go. There's the uh, phone call right there. Let's see. Hi, Brian. Hi, Brian. <laughs> there we go. That's you. That's right. Thank you wow. very much. Wow, we found <laughs> your phone number. That was outstanding. Thank you. I like that. Wow, are we through with this phone? Uh, yes, absolutely. Hang on to that, though. You can have a real magician's phone number right there in your phone. <laughs> I'll sign the face of it if you that want That was to. outstanding. That's Mike Squires, everybody. We like that a lot. Thank you very much. So, uh... Still got the red cards out That's there. That's right. So that was that. absolutely, that, that was pretty neat. <laughs> Thank you. As I mentioned, I do play cards a lot, yeah. and I'm fascinated. with Close-up magic is by far my favorite magic. Oh, me too. Because me too. I'll watch, you know, I know if you turn the Empire State Building to an elephant, there's really something to it. <laughs> but when you can sit there with a deck of cards, and I literally have shuffled and played a million hands of various card games on yeah, yeah. Notice the name of the show, you might get a clue. Uh and I can't do anything like this. I, yeah. I, it's very impressive. It's fun. I, I've, I've always enjoyed card tricks, and it's and it's one of those things you can take with you anywhere you go. Yeah, uh, and always be ready to do a trick. So I really enjoy uh, card tricks myself. Um, we right now we're doing mainly uh, stage shows. Mm -hmm. um, I do a show at the Improv uh, Comedy Club. The one in Arlington. The one in between Matlock and Collins. Yeah, on, down on in the Highlands. That's right, in the Highlands. Yeah, yeah. That used to also be a park. <laughs> we, we were talking about uh, yeah. Curtis how Mathis. things used to be. That's right. <laughs> and um, so. Uh, yeah, we do a, a Comedy Magic for All Ages is the name of the show. It's been going on for eight years. Since wow, first, I've got to get down there. Is that since, since they first started? On the weekends? or Yeah, it's every other Saturday. Okay. So there's one coming up on the 29th, um, and then every two Saturdays from there. Okay. We also do a show. Um, you mentioned Dal and Cindy. Uh, we do a show together uh, the first Tuesday of every month at the Line Bar in Richardson. Too, yeah, they is, were telling us about that when they were here in the studio a couple yeah. of weeks ago. and. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. It sounds it, like I might even get me to drive all the way to Richardson. Uh, yeah, it's, <laughs> it gets me to drive all the way to Richardson. Yeah, okay, well, there you go. <laughs> it is fun, though. Um, we, we, at this point, we like, you know, playing around with each other and doing magic and all that right. kind of stuff. But, but, uh, is that hard, doing magic with magicians? Because you probably be. look at it differently. You're looking more with, yeah. okay, we know what you're doing. We want to see how good you can do it. It, it can be. And, 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 you know, do you still enjoy magic as a, as a, it's a question you get when you've been doing it for a long time, and and it 
it's really enjoyable when you see someone that can do something that you have no idea. It's it, it's, it even, really doubles even down on that devastation. Yeah, okay. you, it, because sometimes you're like, oh well, did you do this? And, and it becomes less of a of a magic uh, performance. But sometimes you'll see somebody and they'll and they'll just blow your socks off. Even you know? even they may have the same illusion trick, whatever you want to call it, as yeah. you do, but they do it a little different. Yeah, like, absolutely. Wish I could do it like that. Yeah, and they, and they <laughs> and they kind of trick you into thinking that you know what's going on, and, and uh, uh -huh. you know. But I mean, that's that's getting down to the technical part right. of magic. But uh, the, I I just remember growing up here in Arlington. The first magic show I ever went to was at somebody's uh, kindergarten or five five year birthday party. Okay, as a kid and uh, seeing magic and um, and it just hooked me, you know and. Uh, I remember that feeling, and that's what we try to do at the Arlington Improv, is, is give the kids, I know it's maybe their first magic show, mm -hmm. and I want them to remember their first magic show like, like I remember. Well, there's, there's a five-year-old Mike probably sitting in an audience <laughs> somewhere. In all seriousness, yeah. you might be the person, there was a magician when you were five that got you to where you are today. Yeah. You started that path. Yeah. You could very well be that person for the next. And you know, the, the, the group is small enough that, uh, or the, the brotherhood friendship uh, is small enough that I, I actually kind of know some of those magicians that, oh, I, that's that I saw back then. You know, you trace them back and say, well, were you doing this trick at that time? And, yeah. and then you, you meet them and they become friends of yours. So. Well, I'll tell you what, a vision with Mike Squires here. If you have a chance, we got to take a short break here. I'd love to see more. Absolutely. It'd be fun. We'll be right. We're not going to disappear. We'll, <laughs> we will return. I hope you're with us on that last segment. We're visiting here with magician Mike Squires. And uh, I got to say, this is pretty cool because <laughs> you, you watch this stuff on TV or maybe you're at a club, maybe you're at the improv or something, right. but you're not sitting this close. Yeah, you got the back. You got I'm, the backstage. I'm right here, man. I get, I get the backstage pass without having to pay for it. So I, I got to watch that last. And, and do we prefer illusion or trick? Everybody it doesn't goes back matter and to forth. me. Okay. I, I think everybody walks away thinking something different. So it doesn't Yeah, uh, you know. I, I just think it's cool, <laughs> whatever yeah. it is. But it, was, it was neat getting to sit here and watch that and hear your backstory again. Growing up here in Longton, you're five yeah. years old, and one of your relatives got you a little magic trick, and you're. Yeah. I don't want to say hooked, but it kind of began you on a journey. Yeah, yeah. When the the toys at that point are, are functional, you know, and they do a trick, you know. The, the, I'm, the, I'm guessing your parents were very skeptical to buy you a rabbit. <laughs> we talked about <laughs> as to what would happen yeah, with that rabbit. You know, we, where the rabbit go? I grew up in that part of Arlington where somebody had a monkey. There were there nice. were uh, with a fez for you, Dave. <laughs> That's all right. right. <laughs> and uh, so they had all that type of stuff. Uh, around there and so we actually talked about getting squirrels at one time which i don't think are very magical but uh, no i don't think squirrels are magical at all but they, <laughs> they have made my telephone wires disappear in the attic before but that, that's kind of cool so you're you're also you're a uh a, a magician and a part-time engineer. That, well, yeah, yeah, you can. It's sixty forty, and I'm not sure which one. And you keep trying to skew one up, out, I'm guessing. <laughs> that's, right, that's right. But I, I, I'm embarrassed to say I had no idea y'all been down at the Improv now for eight years. Yeah, so the Improv started. Uh, the, the Arlington Improv moved. Um, uh, uh, well, actually, it opened up about eight yes. years ago. And when it did, they we had been um, uh, some friends of ours, a friend of mine, uh, Mike Williams, had been doing a, a magic show at the Addison Improv, mm -hmm. and uh, and so the owners asked if we could, and we were also doing another show, funny, funny enough, called Comedy from the Dork Side, which was coming from a dork side, from the dork not side. a dark side, a that's dork right. Side. And we okay. had we had you know Darth Vader and and stormtroopers and guys that would dress up and cosplay and come right. to the show. So it was, it was kind of a nerdy you know variety show where I was the host and we had a, a juggler and a comedians and all that kind okay, of stuff. That's so they asked that crew to do um, the same type of show but for uh, families. Mm -hmm. And so we came and, and started that at the Arlington Improv and then they, they started at the Addison Improv and they've been going. We, we switch off every week so there's always a weekend you can see magic and He's going back and forth. You just go to whichever improv it's at and you can find it all. Well online. I love that venue here in Arlington and it's almost a, a, a well-kept secret because people it's like a Vegas showroom. It really is like yeah. a Vegas showroom. I mean, it's got the look like and the stage seating, is great yeah. and the the uh, PA system is amazing. Yeah, it's fantastic. And, and it's dark a lot. Yeah. So it's neat that they can do other stuff in there Yeah, it, well. Yeah, because there's the pizza place in front and then there's that. You know, in fact, when we first did it, um, I showed up and was doing a happy hour for Fat Tuesday. Sure. And uh, the, the owner was sitting there and we came up and, um, and he started talking to us about it. And then he said, hey, you guys want to go see Jeff Dunham? We said, oh, well, yeah, well, when's Jeff he coming? Dunham. And he said, no, he's here right now. There's a show going on. So we went back there, and the place was packed. Sure. You know, Jeff, Dunham. Yeah. Jeff Dunham's up there, which is a surreal experience, because when you see him, 
everybody knows all the words, and so they say them before he does. Yeah. Um, but uh, so we, uh, yeah, we watched that. Uh, it was, it was, it is. It's, a, it's a little jewel that's sort of packed back it there. Absolutely, you don't see it is. Unless you know it's there. And plenty of great places to eat around there as well. Yeah. yeah. So we, we've got plenty of time here, but I want to make sure I don't cut you short. Oh, sure, We're going to sure. talk some more, but show us something else. Sure, absolutely. I'm taking advantage of my backstage <laughs> pass. Well, you know, you know, magicians will often do uh, a trick where I might pull out the cards and say, we'll pick out a card, but I don't, right. don't want to do that to you. Okay. We're going to shuffle these up, and, and you'll see why that even that doesn't matter. Um, we'll shuffle a little bit better. I'll shuffle it like you may have been used to shuffling when you were, oh, you were yeah. doing this. So if you take these cards, I want you to think of a card before you even look. I want you to think of a card. Okay. Okay. And then look through them and uh -huh. pull out a card. The one that I was thinking of? Yeah, that's not it, is it? Uh, no. That'd be a great trick. That would be a, awesome. Yeah. You got a one <laughs> okay. in 52 shot there. <laughs> that's right. But I want you to look through and, and pick out Find a card. Find my card? Yeah, and then put the rest of the cards down here and, and okay. hold on to your card. All right, let me dig. I really was thinking of this card right here. Okay, fact. good. There's the rest. All right, we've got some more uh, cards here. Now, um, I'm going to ask somebody else to come up with a number between 10 and 40. We've got a few people here, and uh, so ask. anybody can come up. Sure. Oh, we got okay, one. But don't, but don't say it yet. Okay, just think about it. Well, can't use that one. <laughs> well, it's funny because I did this trick for Stuart a, a few minutes ago, and that's the number he, put, he chose. So, oh. um, But if you if, put your card, we'll just return it back in. Right here. All right, so you just, know what your card just, is. Just keep the I number do. in my head. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We'll okay. Put some more cards on top. No big deal. So you're thinking. You thought of a card. We put it back in. Now um, you're thinking of a number over here. Yes. Right? Between ten and, and forty. Now the reason why I'm saying between ten and forty is because I'm about to deal some cards out. If I dealt um, less than ten, the trick would be would be over very quickly. You know. Um, and uh, if I dealt uh, more, more than, than 40. forty, it'd be just boring, right? Yeah. So we won't do that. We'll we'll think of something between ten and forty. Okay. And uh, and given that, you can even change your number if you like to. Okay. okay. Okay, you got you got it in your head. Got it. Okay, and then you have you had a card. I you thought I would put it in there. Yep. What's the number that you're thinking of? Thirty-three. Thirty-three. Okay, let's 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 try this out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven was the first one you thought of. Yes. Twenty-eight. Now, um, twenty-eight's about. Uh, it's not quite two thirds of the deck. It's a little over half, as we figured out in Correct. the first. In the first, in fact, let's let's check this. Let's see if, if you've got your card in here yet. Do you see? Oh, there's another one. Do you see your card? Uh, no. Can I look no. under there? Absolutely, absolutely. Twenty-eight. No, my twenty-eight card cards is not here. face up. If you yeah. go back to the tape, you can see there's twenty-eight. So 20, 29, Yeah. Thirty. Thirty-one. Thirty-two. And 33. There's the 33rd card, right. which was the number that he thought of back here. And you thought of a card. We put it back in and we shuffled it up. What was the card that you were thinking of? It was the Jack of Clubs. Now, I have not looked yet, but let's just see. if Is that the Jack of Clubs? <laughs> there we go. Very good. I love this stuff. <laughs> Outstanding. Thank you very much. Outstanding. That's Mike Squires, everybody. You can catch him at the Improv, or you can bring him in for your own fun and frolic there at home or at the office or whatever. Right. I know you got got uh, Halloween coming up. I don't know people are bringing you in for Halloween stuff. Absolutely. Yeah, Halloween's a, a very popular time of year to get a, a magician in. And, and uh, I mean, I like to say every every time of the year is a good time there's, to get a magician in. There's never a bad <laughs> You know, it, it's interesting. I'll, I'll go to restaurants a lot, not obviously, but yeah. uh, I always love the places where you least expect it. And then the wandering magician comes walking around. Let me, Absolutely. Let me show you something. And I think of places here in Arlington and the Metroplex that would be really neat for that. Yeah. But, uh, same thing with conventions. I mean, I could see a lot of work for you. Absolutely, we yeah. Don't, we have plenty of engineers. It's, it's, that's right. <laughs> there, there's, you can't uh, swing a, a rabbit without hitting an engineer. Um, but, uh, yeah, we we, uh, we have a lot of people in the Magic Club that, that do exactly what you just said. They, they uh, uh, work conventions in downtown or around here. Mm -hmm. um, they do uh, trade shows. And, of course, there's always birthday parties. Uh, like I've said before, the, the number one consumer of Magic is children. And, yeah. Um, and of course, their parents. Uh, so that's kind of where we're we're at with the Arlington Improv. We do birthday parties and that kind of thing. So, okay. um, but it's uh, I I just like I said before, I like to have that. Uh, it's almost like a responsibility to to uh, get kids interested in magic by being the first magician. Well, not just city, that, you know? and I'm in the family entertainment center business too. We yeah. talk about it on the show, but yeah. to have wholesome family entertainment that everybody can go to together. Right. You guys offer that. And yeah. I think there's a big place for that. Yeah, and having some something like that that you can trust and you know it's not going to be, you know. Correct. Um, Risk A. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And, and so we've, we've made a pretty good reputation about that. So Well, again, this is Mike Squires, everybody. He's uh, in-house here. We're going to start having uh, Mike and others like you yeah. uh, in, in studio with us uh, here periodically now, hopefully weekly soon enough. But 
Uh, if you like great magic like I do, and you may not get to sit right here up close and personal, <laughs> but you can meet a really neat, really talented guy, Mike Squire. We appreciate you Thank being you. here with us it. on All In today, folks. Support magic wherever you see it. And if you need some entertainment for your Christmas party, your Halloween party, your, uh, your convention, maybe you're planning a meeting, or you just want to have something at the office that's a little bit different, you need to bring a magician in. And uh, right. you'll, you'll impress everybody and dazzle them. So thanks again for being here. Thank you as well. We'll catch you next time.